Got another question here on the year 13 rates of reaction topic. So as always, if you want to try the question first, the link is in the description of the video. Okay, so the first part of the question, it's a practical skills question, but not worth very many marks. So there's no mention of any quantities or anything like that. If it was worth more marks, then I would be bringing quantities in. It would probably say in the question to include quantities um, in your answer. So simply all you would need to say to get the order with respect to I minus, you would vary the I minus concentration, keep the other one constant. And then for the other one, you just do the opposite. So this reaction produces iodine. So what you could do is you could measure the time for a change to occur. So for example, if you had some starch indicator in this, as soon as enough iodine's been produced, the starch indicator would turn that blue black color. So from that time, you could then say the rate is proportional to one over the time. And then to show that it's first order, you, there's a couple of ways you could say this. I've gone for the graph way. So if you draw a rate concentration graph from your results, if it's first order, the graph should be a straight line through the origin. The other way you could say it is if you double the concentration of I minus and the rate doubles, it's first order because they would sort of shown that they're directly proportional to each other. And part B, we've got to work out um, value for K and state the units if there are any. So the rate equation looks like that because it's first order with respect to the two reactants. Rearrange for K, we get this and then just sub in the numbers that they've given you. So the numerical value of K comes out of 3.75. Moving up to the units, so all I've done is replace the numbers with the units of everything. So units of rate on the top and two lots of moles per decimeter cubed concentration units on the bottom. So we can cancel out that moles per decimeter cubed with one of those. So all we need to do is take these up to the top and flip their signs which gives us units of dm cubed mol to the minus one, s to the minus one. 